They are known as engines of destruction, massive spiraling storms capable of packing winds up to 160 miles per hour. Hurricanes pose danger and destruction in many different ways. Devastating storm surge, mighty winds, and torrential rains often leave a trail of damage in its wake. Destroyed homes, annihilated towns, and in many cases, an even higher toll, loss of human life. Hurricanes are an extreme weather phenomenon. They're associated with the very strong winds, heavy rains. As the hurricane approaches the land, uh, they can produce a strong storm surge. It can reach up to 20 feet. And your particular vulnerability depends where you live. You can be vulnerable to uh, falling trees, flooding, and the damage can extend many, many miles along the coastlines and inland. Experts agree the very best defense against a hurricane is an accurate forecast that gives people time to evacuate and get out of danger's way. Fortunately, hurricane science has made great advancements in the last decade, improving predictive capabilities and providing better accuracy days before a hurricane actually hits. The hurricane forecasting as the weather forecasting is done by computer models. And the computer models are getting more and more advanced in predicting where the storm is going, how strong the storm is going to be, and that will help to really uh, to pin down that particular impact at the particular uh, locations uh, at the storm when storm makes uh, landfall. As the computer power has increased, uh, the scientists now are developing a more sophisticated computer models that can predict more skillfully where the hurricanes are going, how strong they're going to be, but also those computer models will be able to predict in details of the, uh, of the impact at the different locations as storm makes uh, landfall. And that will help the emergency management to issue uh, more accurate uh, warnings so the public can prepare and take actions in advance. Despite these scientific advancements in understanding the behavior of hurricanes, millions of people still fail to adequately prepare and protect their homes when hurricanes do strike. Many feel that the loss of lives due to Hurricane Katrina would have been far less if people had been better educated about the impact hurricanes can have on society. Experts say that when people truly understand the consequences of not evacuating the area, they are better equipped to make sound decisions for their safety. It is critical to educate our citizens about hurricanes because they are deadly, they cause loss of life, destructions to homes, and we saw what happened after Hurricane Katrina with a population that was very prone to being struck by a hurricane, but on the other hand, was not educated about how accurate the forecasts were. If citizens of New Orleans or elsewhere understand how accurate the forecasts currently are and that we're getting better all the time at predicting consequences, and they listen to what those advisories have to say, they can get out of the way and protect their lives and the lives of their families. In an effort to help elevate the public's knowledge of hurricanes and better understand their options when a storm is approaching, the Hurricanes Science and Society website was developed by the University of Rhode Island Graduate School of Oceanography. The Graduate School of Oceanography is one of our country's leading institutions to educate the next generation of ocean scientists. And here at the Graduate School of Oceanography, we educate our students about everything from hurricanes to studying how the ocean itself works, the life in the ocean, the processes between the ocean and the atmosphere that affect critical things such as climate change, sea level rise, and so forth. And one really neat thing about this institution is that it has a commitment to getting the results of the research that's conducted here out to the broader community and out to the rest of the world so that we can create a cadre of literate citizens who are capable of making sound decisions for their everyday life. The comprehensive and interactive website provides a wealth of hurricane-related information, including the science behind storms, modeling and forecasting of hurricanes, and most importantly, how people and communities can prepare for and mitigate the impacts of these powerful storms. The impetus for the uh, Hurricane Science and Society project was um, the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina. 
The National Science Foundation uh, funded us, along with our partner at the Louisiana State Museum, to meet a national need to educate our citizens about hurricanes, about how they're forecasted, observed, and more importantly, what to do prior to a hurricane to protect your family and your home. And so we developed uh, training for educators, uh, which we've conducted around the country, and we've also launched the Hurricane Science and Society website, which is the country's comprehensive resource online to educate folks about this important topic. The Hurricane Science and Society website uh, is really a unique project. As a young scientist, I had the opportunity to work on the website, and being involved with writing the hurricane science content uh, was really an important experience for me because I got to work with some of the experts in the field. Um, those experts then reviewed all the hurricane science content to make sure that the general public who's reading this information is getting the best possible information about hurricane science. Bringing together the nation's leading hurricane researchers, forecasters, and preparation experts, this unprecedented website plays a critical role in the effort to educate students and adults about the science and impact of hurricanes. It will also provide educators the tools around which public education materials about pre-disaster planning can be developed. One of our goals with the Hurricane Science and Society website was to reach a large number of audiences. For the public, there's a great deal of information where they can learn about what the hazards for hurricanes are. For coastal managers and emergency managers, they can get information to learn about how hurricanes work and how they're forecast. Uh, for educators, there's a whole section of material that we've developed that educators can bring in and use with their students. And we've worked with a lot of educators to develop those materials. So we really feel that we've met the needs of all kinds of audiences with our website. Hurricanes are among the most dangerous natural disasters known to mankind. While they can't be prevented, education, preparedness, and ongoing advancements are our best defense against these deadly storms. It's really an exciting time to be a hurricane scientist. Even though there's been significant advances in hurricane track forecasting, for example, in the last 20 years or so, I think what the big challenge is now, and what you'll see in the next five to 10 years or so, is advancements in hurricane intensity forecasting. Now here at the Graduate School of Oceanography, our job is to be working on the hurricane models that are work that are particularly suited to improving hurricane intensity forecasts. Now there's major uh, scientific questions that still need to be addressed in order to know exactly how to improve these hurricane forecast models. There are observations that come from outer space in the form of satellites and also uh, aircraft that are flown into hurricanes and those go that, that information goes directly into these hurricane forecast models to produce the best possible forecast that the general population can then use to make the best decision as to when to evacuate to protect their life and property. Well, our research group at the Graduate School of Oceanography work very closely with the scientists at the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration and the Navy to improve computer models that are used for hurricane forecasting. We have just received the two research grants that are focusing on improving our understanding and the modeling of the interaction between hurricanes and the ocean. And we're hoping over the next couple of years, the new computer model that we will develop in collaboration with our colleagues will greatly improve the hurricane forecasting in this country. To find out more information about hurricanes or how to prepare for a hurricane, please visit hurricanescience.org.